ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another breaking news, basically, basically coming out in the last 34 minutes. Lucy's there, by the way, if you're wondering. The background. <laughs> yeah, you've just seen the hand there. Uh, Christopher Ayer, transfer related as Brentford, reportedly agree a fee for Celtic Lewis. What's your thoughts on just on the title so far? It's a good amount. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to complain. We've got a guy from Sheffield Wednesday whose name I will more than likely never be able to What is it? Is Azzy? Azzy. Yeah, Azzy. Azzy. Okay, it's Azzy. It's Azzy or Agidi. Okay. Yeah. Um, basically, um, it looks set to leave um, Celtic this summer with Newcastle heavily linked with a move, but his contract expires at the end of next next season, so Celtic are believed to be looking for a fee around £15 million to score his services um, to let him go. Uh, the Norwegian defender has impressed that Parkhead with serious commanding performances, but is reported to be looking for a new challenge. Um, Newcastle United have a limited transfer budget this summer, of, you know, you, you know it's Newcastle, yeah. but I've watched Ayer who can play in central defence or as a right-sided side, oh, defender. However, it appears Brentford have stolen a march on the rivals by bidding thirteen point five million for I, which is when you're talking. I think it was last week or the week before. We're only going to get like less than that. It was like double less than that seven million or six million? Like that was like a that bargain for somebody. But now we're getting thirteen point five million, and you can see like the star was getting away from a yeah. Um, and bid which has reportedly been accepted. The twenty four old both play both Norway's recently friendlies, but is not involved in Euro twenty twenty. Um, I'd be worried if he was. <laughs> uh, Brentford have tested Celtic resolve with a ten million bid earlier this summer, and the Telegraph says it's have been going back with a better offer which has been accepted. Um, Whether anyone on our side coming in with a matching or increased bid remains to be seen. Um, Ayer is reported to be frustrated at rising price tag at Celtic though. Mm. While the Celtic club are not blocking a move, his initial price tag of around sixty-eight million is now nearer fifteen million, which should put off some sides of well, you know, because of course the, people think when you're trying to bid for something like Celtic, mm. they'll accept six million or something like that. No, but considering he's one of the best players in the league, best defender yeah. in the league, if you ask me, maybe other than Tavernier or Barisic. Yeah. But like in terms of defending, you won't find better than. Even as a Celtic fan, like, see Tavernier. Mm. I don't know how you never got called up for the England squad, to be honest. He can actually, he's eligible to play for Scotland, like Harvey Barnes. Oh. So if they do both end up playing... Only if, you know, only if. <laughs> um, but Ayer was back, um, was training with the Celtic squad who flew to Wales. Uh, so they did their pre-season there. They, they finished the Wales camp now, so they're heading to Saturday. Uh, they're playing at home to Preston, which will be 2,000 fans. And sadly, I won't be part of the fans in the stadium, but I will be part of the West Ham game. I'm excited about that. Mm. Um, hopefully we don't get hammered, but you know, <laughs> it'd be excited to be back anyway. But uh, getting hammered by the <laughs> Um But yeah, um, Ange Postecoglou respects Ayers wish to leave Celtic, but he's won Newcastle and other clubs. Um, you'll make the best decision for the football club. Postecoglou was asked about the future of Raya and Alison Edward that he run Vailing last month. Uh, he said, "Well, I've, I haven't spoken to either of them yet, but probably they have now." This is like. Yeah. This is, this is at his press conference a month ago. Uh, they've both just sort of arrived in the country, as have I, um, and I'll discuss with them in their future and the des best decision for the football club. Um, but yeah, um, that's Lance Postco's eye on his future. He had admitted a, a press conference after playing a Netherlands game, um, the Netherlands game, a Norway game, uh, that he, he wants to leave the summer. Um, he's six foot six. I mean, what else can you ask for a defender at six foot six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I Just mean, like Dan Burn. yeah. Quite so, this is what Ayer said in his press conference after that game. There are, of course, many rumours right now. It's just rumours. I have one year left my contract with Celtic, and I relate to it. But something will probably happen this summer. I have one year left, and I'll be loyal to the club. For me, both for me, both for both me and Celtic to get the best possible starting point, it will possibly make sense that it happens this year. I have brought with me experience from almost 180 games for a top club like Celtic. Wow. It doesn't feel like that, does it? I have played 100, 180, um, what do you call it? 180 games. Wow. Well, before we end the video, guys, of course, um, so Lewis, again, your opinion is you don't mind him leaving for a, the right price, of course. Um, because I think with Azizi and yeah. Wilson defence, yeah. solid defence. But yeah, again, you know, going into a Michelin game on Tuesday night, right? Alright, they, they could be doing fine as Azizi and Welsh, but 
if you're looking for more experience, if you get into the Champions League, you know, you're looking for the likes of, if Starfield comes in, due today apparently, his medical is getting done in Moscow, if all goes well, go to Glasgow and we get the paint, paint the paper done. But also getting a, a 90 year old midfielder from Watford, um, he's a midfielder, yeah. he, he won player of the year. Can I, oh, Whoa. I was going to ask if I can guess who it is, I was going to say Dominguez Queen No, lol, someday lol. Mm, I can't remember his first name, but it was Law. He won Player of the Year for the under 18 or 19, such that group last season. Um, but he's highly rated, obviously. Watford's not just any odd club, they're obviously Premier League squad. Um, so, you know, you know, I hope if we, if we go, I've seen reports that we've got that done as well. We're hitting the transfer market now, f eventually flying, but you could say it's a bit too late because Celtic have got to put their team down for the Champions League game now. Will um, Abada, you know, Leo Abada be on the list? Hopefully he is. His first training session is tomorrow. Um, so hopefully Penny Paper is done with that champs for, uh, the Champions League done. Hopefully he's in it. We'll see what he's like, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, guys, that's our thoughts on Ayer. Apparently, uh, Celtic have accepted a bid from Brentford. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to share the video and subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly.